Hello everyone, today I'm going to be giving you guys a basic starter guide on what you need to do to thrive in Don't Starve. Don't Starve is a survival game that can be kind of tricky. So I'm going to show you the basic things that you need to do by day 5. You don't actually have to exactly do them in this step of order, but this is kind of the kind of the main things that you need to do. They can be bent around in whatever fits your playstyle. This is my playstyle. You don't have to do it exactly my way, but I'm just giving you guys the best ways on how I survive, and I think it could benefit you guys as well. At night time, I will be fast forwarding because I really don't do much during the night. Uh, it's, you should be doing things at night, but I I don't do much things at night. I usually just go get myself a drink or something like that and come back and play some more. Alright. So when you first start out, you want to gather as much supplies as you can. Which can be kind of boring and time consuming, but you just want to gather as much supplies as you can. I didn't really go or start out in a really good area, so you can always always explore. Your first couple days are about exploring. You kind of want to look for beethel, beefalo, killer bee towers, or the pigs. That's what you want to find. I prefer the beefalo because then you can use them as protection from the hounds or also for manure. And manure you use for building farms, basic farms, improved farms, you know, etc. And you can also use them as fertilizer for planting crops, which is kind of kind of a main deal of the game. Uh, so beefalo are usually spawning in grasslands like that, but usually when you spawn, you're going to be in this luscious green patch full of berries, uh, carrots, trees, twigs, you name it, it's all there. Uh, turkeys will spawn in the berry bushes. They're not really worth it to go after, but you can, you can if you want to. I personally didn't because I'm kind of trying to make the video and, you know, just trying to make it right to the point. <clears throat> But really, your first couple of days can be the most important couple of days. You'll find these random skeletons placed around the map. Uh, I've never seen one that has a life-giving amulet before, or one that actually kind of looks like it's grieving by a gravestone. Maybe lost a friend. But, so the life-giving amulet. It might have been a grave robber. Who knows? But, the life-giving amulet, so I'm pretty sure what it does is, so let's say if I'm dumb enough and I don't have a fire by night, and I die, I think I come back, daytime, but, uh, alright, so this looks like prominent beefalo area, it's big enough, but I don't, I don't know. But yeah, so these grasslands are par prairie lands are full of rabbits, which is very, very needed, and grass, which is also very needed, because you have to use them for uh, finding the beefalo and living in a sustainable area. I fast forwarded because it became night time and nothing really happened. But, as you can tell, I'll fast track it for you. I found Beefalo. So, now I kind of am set up where I need to be. I also did a little bit of exploring, but nothing, nothing interesting that you guys would want to see. If I left in all the things, this video would be, I think it would have been like 46 minutes long. So... I mean, this is already a long video. This is actually my first video that goes over 15 minutes. Uh, very excited about that. I actually recently made, uh, enabled it. 
you know, listening to the wonderful voice of Google, the automated voice. But, yeah. So, you can also engrave, so I'm kind of looking for gold because I need to build my camp. And uh, with that, you need to build a science machine and alchemy machine. If you don't have those, you... Unless if you're the librarian in the game, you're not going to live for that long. So, I am just going to try to find stones, gold. Uh, in graves, you can find gold, gears. Uh, you have a chance where you could dig up a ghost. And this ghost will leave by daytime uh, next day. And you will, I mean, it follows you around, but it's very slow, so nothing to really be worried about. Carrots are probably your best friend throughout this whole five-day period, uh, because you don't really have much, and you're, I mean, most of the time you're venturing around. So, carrots are awesome. Never eat mushrooms. I mean, shouldn't eat mushrooms, period, unless of, you know, they're the ones they buy in the store. Those mushrooms, red caps, pretty sure they kill you instantly. Uh, blue caps, I think they... I think... I th they're not good. Don't eat mushrooms. Um... Oh, okay, so that's cool. So we found a touchstone. A touchstone is, so if I die, I will respawn there. I don't know if it, that becomes before the life amulet, or the life amulet is before then. But, uh, that is very nice. You probably want to, when you get into later days, and you're more secure, and you have an abundance of supplies, build a chest by there. Uh, probably full of like uh, winter clothes and some food because you're not going to do well if you don't have things and you're, it's kind of far away from my base so in the winter time that could be an issue so it's becoming afternoon uh, it's going to be getting dark soon I found the stones that I was looking for which now I found gold I found stones which is very nice. Usually when you find the stone lands, it's going to continue with uh, small biomes of like forest or trees or that green biome or brown biome that has twigs and stuff. Nothing really growing to then boulders again. It's going to look kind of like a jigsaw puzzle of colors. So nothing really much when you're by the stone land or the rock land but your first couple of days just keep collecting stuff you can never have too much you want to build a backpack uh, it's kind of hard with that first main slot so you want to build a backpack Oh, found another thing of graves. We'll just dig up a couple. I don't want to spawn in a ghost. Blue gem. Alright, not a ghost. Yeah, no red gem. Alright. But in the graveyards, there's gold, flint, and some other things, but mostly gold will be scattered out through the area. Forest, you don't really want to mine down a forest because tree guards will spawn in. Nothing is going to really happen much uh, throughout this portion, so I'm just going to cut through there and then it will be morning. Alright. Alright, now it's morning and is going to be picking up more stones and stuff, and we're going to be heading back to our base. 
We're going to be building the science machine and also the alchemy machine. You're, day three, we're doing very well. Just want to keep on collecting stuff. We're kind of running low on wood, but we should be just fine. But yeah, we're just gonna keep on collecting things. Alright, we should probably work our way back to our base. Chop down some trees as well. We need wood. Uh, I think it's like... Is it like four logs to make... Uh, one board? I think that's what it is. So... Yeah, probably like around 20 logs will take. Something like that. So, we're just gonna be mining down. Alright, so we don't wanna mine trees close like that. Because that has a high chance of spawning in a tree guard. Whenever I plant my pine cones, I like to have a space like that. Just a good enough space. But yeah, this is just fine. I mean, they can be a little bit closer, but you don't want them to be super close. So, what are we sitting at? We're sitting at about nine logs. Have to get a couple more. But yeah, just gotta keep on gathering supplies. This is like the most boring part, kind of. This is the beginning. And the most hardest. And the hardest. But once you get this kind of taken care of and understood, you know, how to really get the basics or the fundamental of surviving, you'll be just fine. Alright, we're gonna have to start heading back. It's gonna be kind of quite a trip. Alright. We'll chop down a few trees on the way. We're sitting at 15 logs. But yeah. It's kind of crazy how fast time goes in the game. You know what I mean? You'll be sitting there just chopping down trees for a whole day. Mine down some boulders later, but we're sitting pretty good on stones. We're at 38 stones. Doing just fine. Alright. Oh. Let's just venture this way a little bit. See where this leads us. Yeah. Uh, so the science machine allows you to build uh, different items. So like, you might have been in a, like beginning, you can't make that much items. But with the science machine, you can build more items, and then with the alchemy machine, you can build even more items. And then the magic machine. No, it's not the magic. I call it the magic machine. Then you can build magical things like ice staffs and fire staffs, and the life-giving amulets, and there's one more other. There's there's another machine, and there's some other ones. Uh, there's I don't know much about it, but there's one down in the caves. Uh, it's it's in a different kind of area. I don't know much about it, so I can't give you the guys that much information about it. But let's chop down this tree and head to the base. Oh, my axe broke. Alright. Let's chop down the trees. Yeah, so those crazy looking stones are uh, 
plugs uh, for where a cave would be. And um, in the caves, I, it's kind of iffy. Some people actually live in the caves during the winter, but I don't know if hounds still spawn in in the caves. I can't tell you guys that. Hounds spawn in, I think, uh, about day 12. So. Alright. I made a video a long time ago about uh, how to get gears, and that is doing very well. Very well. So, it uh, doesn't look like I'm gonna make it. Alright, well, I guess I'll just pull out my torch and then cut through there. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough torches to make it through. Well, alright. But once you really figure out where you need to build your base, and you kind of put down the main instruments that you need uh, for building your base. Oh, we're gonna burn these evil flowers because they're evil. Check the map quick. Alright, bring it out. Alright, stay on the trail. Just wait, I guess, until day. I don't really know where to build my base. I don't want to build them too close to the beefalo. Beefalo during mating season. So you don't want to be by them. They don't like visitors. They will try to kill you. Up. Uh, take care of uh, so you can see as my sandy's not doing well. Not doing well. Alright, so my base, we're gonna build right here. Just far enough away from the beefalo, but close enough to a trail. Alright, so we'll build a uh, science machine and cut some stone learning new things uh, helps greatly with your sanity so kind of remember that even if it's like learning how to craft rope or boards or something weird if your sanity's not doing well craft it No, I won't have to sleep tonight. Hopefully not. Alright. Just eat some carrots. Yeah, carrots are the best. because I misjudged. I need one more board.
Alright. So we should probably put away our axe because if we keep it out, uh, lightning is more prone to strike us than a random object. Uh, the game is the game just wants to kill you, so I don't really want to give it an opportunity to. All right, so let's just build the uh, let's build some things. Let's build the alchemy machine, of course. Alright, let's build. So let's build. Oh, we can't build a lightning rod, which kind of stinks. Help. Alright, so let's build. Let's build a strong one. afternoon or like when it's the dusk. Uh, don't really have much to do. Because you can't venture off and you know go do things. Or else until night. Just in case if I have to ditch it for some reason. Uh, don't want to have all my spears in there. Alright, let's plant these saplings. Get those going. Alright. Let's build a small fire. Cook up some seeds. Well... Sadly, this is the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Comment on what you thought also help me greatly if you subscribe. And if you really like this video, please smack that like button. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. See ya.